Welcome to the fourth event of the Ser Downhill Racing Series. Today, 32 drivers will battle to win this event. Here you can see which driver will compete against yours. And now, let's go. First matchup, Ryan Blaine against Chris Boucher. And Ryan Blaney on the inside wins. And Chris Boucher wrecked. Now, William Byron against Clint Boyer. Clint Boyer with a huge lead wins it. Kevin Harvick against Brad Keselowski. Keselowski with an early lead, but he wrecks, hits the inside wall, and Kevin Harvick advances. Now, Alex Bowman against Tyler Reddick, and what a bad restart for Alex Bowman. And Tyler Reddick, our first event winner, advances. Now Ross Chastain against Eric Jones. Eric Jones on the inside. And he's going to win, but he doesn't cross the finish line. So we will redo it. And Ross Chastain on the outside with the momentum wins. And Eric Jones didn't cross the start finish line. Well, not the start, only finish line. McDowell against Joey Logano and McDowell wins. Now, Chase Elliott against Ty Dillon and Chase Elliott on the inside advances to the next event, uh, next round. Sorry. Now, Kyle Busch against Christopher Bell and Kyle Busch doesn't have enough speed to cross the finish line. So... We redo it and Kyle Bush again is too short to pass this finish line. Third try and Christopher Bell in the inside wins. Jamie Mack against Danny Hamlin and Danny Hamlin on the outside wins. And Jamie McMurray got a strange wreck. He's upside down. I hope he's okay. Now, Jimmy Johnson against Parker Kligerman. Kligerman with the lead, but Jimmy Johnson battles back and he wins. Now, Corey LaJoy against Matt Di Benedetto. LaJoy on the outside has the lead, but Matt Di Benedetto makes a comeback and he wins. Now, Kenseth against Arik Almirola and Almirola on the outside. Hasn't enough speed and it's Matt Kenseth who advances. Now, Kurt Busch against Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And Kurt Busch on the outside advances. Now, Martin Trek Jr. against the Rocketman, Ryan Newman. And Ryan Newman advances. Now, Cole Custer against Booba Wallace. Booba Wallace has the lead, but he gets stuck on the racetrack as... Cole Custer. Now second try and they both again get stuck on the racetrack. And Cole Custer found out how to get back going and he advances. Now John Hunter Nemechek against Daniel Suarez. Suarez on the inside tries to make a comeback but John Hunter Nemechek advances to the round of 16. Here you can see the next matchups. And we will start with Ryan Blaney against Clint Boyer. Let's go. And Clint Boyer on the outside advances. Now, Tyler Reddick against Kevin Harvick. Tyler Reddick on the outside has the lead, but Kevin Harvick on the inside comes back and wins. Now, Ross Chastain against Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell on the outside wins it. Now Chase Elliott against Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell goes upside down and Chase Elliott wins. Jimmy Johnson against Danny Hamlin and Jimmy Johnson is upside down on the first turn and Danny Hamlin advances. Now Matt Kenseth against Matt Di Benedetto. Matt Di Benedetto has a huge lead and he will advance. 
Kurt Busch against Ryan Newman. Kurt Busch is on the inside and he will advance. That was pretty close. Now Cole Custer against John Hunter Nemechek and John Hunter Nemechek is upside down and Cole Custer against again struggling a bit to advance but he is now in the quarterfinals. The first one will be Clint Boyer against his teammate Kevin Harvick. Green and Clint Boyer is upside down. Kevin Harvick wins the first matchup out of two or three depends on if he wins again to get two wins and he will win so that makes 2-0 and Kevin Harvick advances now Michael McDowell against Chase Elliott Michael McDowell wins the first one so that's 1-0 second matchup and Chase Elliott on the inside makes it 1-1 now Chase Elliott wins easily because Michael McDowell wrecked. Now Matt Divedetto against Danny Hamlin. Danny Hamlin got stuck on the racetrack, so that gives the win to Matt Di Benedetto. 1-0 for Matt Di Benedetto. Now second matchup, Di Benedetto has a huge lead, but Danny Hamlin makes a comeback and he ties the duel and now Mazzini finally wins it easily and he advances to the semi-finals I think Kurt Busch wins the first matchup easily and they both go upside down at the same moment so we redo it and Kurt Busch wins and advances to the semi-finals so the semi-finals are Kevin Harvick against Chase Elliott and Matt Di Benedetto against Kurt Busch same as the quarterfinals the first to two wins advances to the finale Chase Elliott against Kevin Harvick Kevin Harvick on the inside wins now second matchup and Kevin Harvick on the outside oh and Chase Elliott makes a comeback. I don't know who won this one. Let's see a replay. And Chase Elliott barely wins and advances. Well, he doesn't advance yet. That's the third matchup to determine who advances, and it will be Chase Elliott. Now, Kurt Busch against Matt Divedetto. Kurt Busch on the outside wins, so. 1-0 for Kurt Busch, second matchup, Matt on the outside can't do anything against Kurt Busch and Kurt Busch advances to the finale. So the finale is Chase Elliott against Kurt Busch. Let's go! Kurt Busch on the outside, he wrecks and Chase Elliott has the lead right now, 1-0 for him. Second matchup and Kurt Busch on the inside ties the race. 1-1. It's the first to three wins, by the way. And, oh, Chase Elliott is upside down and wrecks and that gives a win to Kurt Busch. So now if Kurt Busch wins, he wins the event. Let's go and Kurt Busch on the inside wins and is our event for winner. So that makes four different winners for four races, four events. Congratulations to 1989 Worms 1 for the victory so now he's in the playoffs thank you all for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit the notification button and see you next time thanks for watching bye